How's it going, YouTube? Thanks for joining me once again. Got another beer haul in from liquordirect.ca. Uh, check them out if you're living in Alberta and want some awesome beers sent right to your doorstep. But uh, yeah, got it unboxed here as uh, I had to carry it all from work. But um, let's see what's inside. All right, first off with the um, multi-packs, I bought two of these suckers. Uh, Brew Brothers from Parallel 49 called Different Beers, all with um, metal and rock themes to them. And uh, yeah, bought two of these, one to review and uh, one to send out to buddies. Um, yeah, um, bought actually quite a bit to send out to friends, so uh, yeah, awesome stuff. And then we've got Central City's Hopping Mad Dry Hopped Apple Cider. That sounds pretty nifty, um, yeah. And then we've got uh, Great White Combine from Ribstone Creek. Um, really enjoyed this beer when I reviewed it uh, a while back, I forget when, but uh, about a year back. And uh, yeah, figured try it out again and send some off to friends. Valley Trail Chestnut Ale, Chestnut Ale from uh, Whistler Brewing Company. Um, heard some really good stuff about this one. Really impressed with Whistler's stuff, so excited to try those out. On to the singles. And we've got a uh, new beer from Phillips. This is their Stump Coastal Forest Botanic Ale. Coming in at 6.2%. It's using uh, juniper and stuff like that. And then we've got uh, two beers from Parallel 49. They're uh, Apricotto Puss. It's a uh, apricot sour wheat, I think, something like that. And uh, they're 187 on an undercover hop, double IPA. Unibrew's Ephemere Pear. And we've got another beer from Evil Twin, Imperial Biscotti Break. Uh, just came to Alberta. I've already had it, reviewed it. I'll put up the review real quick here. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna save this one for a special occasion. Or maybe uh, trade it off, who knows. And uh, we got a an IPA from Fuggles and Warlocks. A, a friend of mine sent it to me, but it broke sadly. Um, this is Super 8-Bit IPA. So I'll finally get to try that one out. Uh, Collective Arts Black IPA. Um, I had this one a while back, but really enjoyed it. Figure, uh, try it out again. Um, yeah, 6.8%. We've got a beer from Cronenberg, their 1964 or 1664 Whit beer. Um, haven't had this in a while, haven't reviewed it, so figure, give it a review. And another cider from uh, Central City. It's the Hopping Mad Cider Rattler. And a uh, beer from Driftwood Brewery out in Victoria. Um, Naughty Hildegard ESB. It's actually the uh, world's um, most highly rated ESB on all of uh, untapped uh, rate beer and beer advocate, so should be nice to try this one out. Beer from Category 12, I had their Black IPA and their regular IPA a while back and loved them. This is their Critical Point Pale Ale. And last but not least, we've got a beer from a brewery that just came to Alberta, uh, Council Brewing Company out in San Diego. Uh, their Beatitude Mosaic Dry Hopped Tart Saison. They've got a few beers that came out, a few Tart Saisons and a couple sours, I believe, maybe a fruit beer, something like that. But uh, yeah, I was gonna try out their beers out in San Diego, but there was just so much to do, so much to drink. And uh, yeah, never got around to it, sadly. But um, yeah, super excited to try that one out as well. And there we have the beer mail from liquordirect.ca. Let me know what you think of any of these beers. I've got high hopes for all of them. And uh, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Cheers.